Hello, YouTubers. Welcome on back. Our culture game continues. It's turn 173. We're making decent progress. I want to see how much this goes up this turn. 43 of 185. Let's take a look. Up to 500 culture as well. world without radio Ooh, it only went up by two only went up by two so we got to do better But I'm going to continue the uh, cultist train here. Get some Seaside Resorts going because we just teched that. Okay. Line infantry barbs at 170. We've been dealing with them for like, not kidding, 20 some turns. That's pretty annoying. Pretty, pretty, pretty annoying. Uh, all right. So you get rid of that, and we have to make one. And then now this is worthy. Oh, that's on fire. Jungle on fire. Jungle on fire. Yeah, whatever. I'll override that tile. Let's just get the district. And you go here now that we've cleared all those out. This is all the way over here. So assuming the ranger can't kill us, I can actually get rid of this in one turn. I'll probably lose the unit, but at least it'll be gone. Because, yeah, these line infantry barbs are bumming me out. That's a lot of wonder production. We could save up a good chunk of gold to grab that. Grab something like uh, Broadway or whatever. Do I remember a specifically extremely tough Civ game I played and I won despite the odds? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, there are a few... You so if you go to my YouTube... YouTube's mostly just VODs uh, broken up over time. But if you go to last year's challenge, the first one with Alex, we went up against Mapuchi. Uh, and so I was not able to do Alex things and that wind up... It it's a grindy game, but it it it's one of the more difficult games of Civ I played. And then it's either in last year's or the year before Japan. We literally lose our capital very early on into the game and are able to recover and win with, like, Crusade, I think. So those are the two that I would seek out if you want to check them out. I don't think I'm switching into suffrage. It's everybody's government. Classic Republic... Classic Republic, Classic Republic, Classic Republic, Classic Republic, Classic Republic. I, is it ever worth it? Re real talk. Big, put on your big sieve brain. Is it ever worth it to go into revolt and switch back down to a four policy government just for the tourism bonuses? It can't ever be worth it, right? can't ever be worth it because just policy cards alone it's 50% tourism it's a 50% tourism bonus well I guess it's just a penalty if we switch out of it right okay never mind then no it's never worth it 
It's never worth it, but I don't think we switch. I don't think we go into democracy despite the um despite the the, the better government, more policy cards, etc. Cuz it's a pretty big penalty. Now, this isn't going up particularly fast, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So then I don't need to go here. Let's go for rock bands slash containment. Get some Suzes back online. making so much money off this niter. How are our amenities? We have a fair amount of national parks. We are happy. We have happy cities. Let's start spending faith on parks again so that we can get to ecstatic. I know, the mod is like so nice. Best country for technology domination so you want to go to space like what's the best space race civ or or you want or you want like fancy units and and a good tech yeah so we're gonna lose this unit but we do get to clear the camp so that's at least one of these barbarian camps out of the way this is the super annoying one uh, and then I'm working towards this as well. Containment is very, very close. We will send envoys once we have it. First relic has been gotten. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's a lot of it's a lot of fire. You want to be the most developed country in tech. Okay, so who's a good science civ? Is the question. Uh, I really like Hojo. Hojo can get amazing campuses. Korea's a good science civ. Um, Spain is kind of incredible at everything these days. Spain's a, a, just a good civ overall and can get really nutty science things going on. Uh, I like I like Pedro for science games. It's a little trickier, but uh, super fun to play. Um, honestly, Rome is a good science civ just because like free monuments, like a fr it frees up your production and you can just not worry about culture as much and just focus on science. Yeah, Babylon super fun, but but pretty pretty complex, pretty complicated. But certainly a good time. Aztecs can be fun for specifically science victory, uh, because they can one turn a spaceport, which is pretty fun. Who else, you guys? Maya's map dependent. I really don't like Maya. Does regrowth after fire add extra appeal to tiles? Because that would make that a better plant. No, they unfortunately no. We're, we're still going to have to cut down this jungle once it's all gone. Even though it'll be cool yields and stuff. Yeah, Germany's just strong overall. It's kind of incredible, like, <laughs> it's weird to talk about power creep in Civ, but, to, to, you know, to the developer's credit, like, here are fun new powerful Civs. Do you want to buy our expansion pack, right? Like, that's a completely reasonable thing uh, to be doing. But it's like, Germany used to be just incredibly powerful, and I still think they are powerful. Uh, but they kind of pale in comparison to some of the other choices you have now.
I love colossal heads. Almost to 500 tourism. Yeah, Jay's insane too. Been tempted to start a game with Nubia. Any tips? I like Nubia. I, I would try to go for the Archer Rush on Nubia. Um, they're, 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 even though they've been nerfed just as a sieve, um, and specifically her like early Archer stuff a little bit, um, she's still incredibly powerful. And I think they're enough to at least take out some city states, if not like a neighbor. But she's a good space race sieve too, like the district production's not for nothing. Fair amount of tile buying, which is fine. What's the strategy with Chandragupta, Crusade Domination, or Religion? I, I think Cru Crusade Domination is the most fun with Chandragupta. We, we, I, I literally gave up on our on our recent Chandragupta game just because it was making me sad. Um, I don't even think I get parks here. I think this just turns into tile improvements. Um, but yeah, I, I like, I like the, uh, Elephant Rush stuff with him. We just got coupe in our game, which is, it really wasn't Chandra's fault. It was just coupe. Nice. Oh, I'm excited for that patch. I want to, I, I can't wait to look at the notes. For Storybook Brawl. All right, let's check this again as we go 50 of 190. I could buy another Naturalist here. With that. Big bed to Canada. Okay. Whew, why am I tired? What's going on with my yawning? More barbs. I don't love that. So 10 tourism out of these. We're up to 600 tourism. Was that just the relics? Yeah. Did I? I took... Yeah, because I took relic queries. Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. We should actually... You know what? Screw the parks. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to run out of relics to get. So let's just make sure that we, we can keep getting all these relics. Before I overcommit faith to them. Because you do eventually run out. Full full loyalty in five turns, by the way. Red Duke! Woo! Game mechanic. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. You know what? Screw it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back for five months. Thank you for the prime. I forgot that we took reliquaries. That 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 leads me into wanting way more cultists. Just totally not worry about any of the rest of it. Okay. Rip another trade route. Super annoying. This guy lived somehow. Love it. Exactly. O only Nans rocking the rocking the reliquaries. Cause that was a lot of tourism we got.
didn't pillage? Okay. Weird. See, we're out of relics already, right? Or we're out of monuments? Yeah, we are out of monuments. So that's my bad. Do all of my cities have monuments? Looks like we need more temples. I think I bought something they were building, but I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle around some things. I'm just creating a bunch more slots for us. Oh god, they were almost done with theirs too. Why am I tunnel visioning so hard and so stupid? Whoops. All right, let's shuffle some things around. Because we have Apadana, which can be anything. We just opened up so many temples. Right. So we missed out on one, it's okay. It's like a half a turn's worth of faith. That's acceptable. So you have garrison, so if we promote you, Wally. Do it like that. Do they have to use all their charges to get the relic, or can you run them into barb camps? They can die, they can just die. You can definitely get it that way. Man, cultist tourism is pretty good. They're getting expensive, though. There's a cavalry over there. I, I thought I was going to get tricked by going there, but... So 56 of 202 is where we went to. So it went up by 6? Look at our tourism. Just skyrocket. With all the relic tourism. If it weren't for electricity, the Cold War is not. So we went up by four, going up by like four ish per turn. Not not a huge net gain, but progress is progress.
I will combine them eventually. Alright, so that's Cold War. Let us shoot out some containment. Uh, I haven't seen Eiffel Tower go quite yet. I do need a lot of builders still. I know. The Barbarians have screwed up our game a lot. Um, Alright, so... We're there. I think we go to Environmentalism next for the extra 25% Tourism. We're on our way to computers as well. I don't need that farm anymore. So just planting woods and getting colossal heads might be good. Next game, let's not have the barb, barb clans. Deal. Deal. When this is done, so go up to four and can therefore be a seaside resort thing. Like that my warrior's job all all game has just been to sit on this settleable tile. <laughs> Did a great job. This is open. Yeah, Christo should be a priority, and I'm not. I'm being pretty lazy about prioritizing it. Look at this. Tourism, though. St. Basil's. Look at this. 72 tourism, 36 per relic, and 18 faith. My goodness. My goodness, Laugi! 20? What? <laughs> that took a second to even show up. Laugi, 20 gifted subs. Thank you. Holy butts. That's incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in new friends. Thank you for the generosity. That's that's That makes my day. That really makes my day. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Thank you, Laugi. Oh, it's a soothsayer. I'm like, are you doing cultist stuff too? No, just a soothsayer. Welcome in new friends. Too many to thank, but I appreciate it. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of subs given out. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Hot Kettle. Enjoy your lurk, my friend. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. All right, let's, let's watch this one. 60 of 203. This is fine. This might allow me to steal this. So we only gained we only gained one net tourist there, which I don't love. Which I don't love. I don't think anyone's bought our horses for a while, but. We'll take 
your olives. Maybe I do want these relics then. It's it's a lot of tourism. Whoo, that's expensive. All right. Um, I think I like buying the relic there. It's it's just way more tourism. And then we have a couple. We have four. Still have a fair amount. Yeah, I think I think we might be getting close to rock band time. We shall see. Yeah, I've got I've got I've got cities that just don't have um <laughs> that just don't have theater squares yet. I guess upping Reyna and buying some could be fine. But I need to start like m managing the gold versus uh you know tourism thing a little bit better. Because I can't just be paying 40 gold for, like, one piece of thing. 40 gold per turn. Not not when I have amphitheaters and things like that to buy. I don't think. A lady's imagination. Any tips to keep up science in the culture game? Uh, just get get the good campuses where you can. Like, so this is a culture game, and we've, we've done fine on science. We're not blowing anybody away, but we're going to get to computers at turn 186. So it's not too bad. Uh, but, like, when you see good campuses, build that good campus, right? Like, we had a plus four here. It was pretty early. Like, it really delayed a lot of other stuff that our cap was doing. But a nice quality early campus here, here, like a couple plus fours. That's kind of all I have. I really don't have that many other campuses. But, like, two, two plus, maybe three early on in the game. You know what I mean? Like, I, I planned this and never got it. Like, I, I am achieving this with two campuses. So just get a couple nice quality early campuses and you should be golden. I don't really want to build that, but I might have to. Oh, my back. My back. Hey, soccer man. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> great haircut. I appreciate it. Yeah, she did a great job. Check this out, too. <laughs> this is, I, I was a little... So I, I picked this lady because she, like, cuts... She, she's very nice. She's very good. She cuts cuts hair out of her house. So it's like there's not a lot of other people around. It's just me, her, and her cat. Um, and the first time I went, which was in September... Uh, she charged me, I mean, I, I was there a good hour, so it was a longer haircut than I'm used to, but that's, you know, that's just kind of chattiness. But she charged me $100, and I was like, I've never paid $100 for a haircut before, this is insane. But, yeah, last, yesterday, when I got this one, He's gonna shoot me and kill me. And that's probably why I waited six months, by the way, to get my next haircut. <laughs> but... Yesterday, she only, she, yeah, $100, dude. I've never paid $100. I, I'm used to paying $30 for a haircut. Uh, but anyways, it was worth it because it was, like, COVID safe to me. And I'm like, all right, fine. Uh, but yesterday, she only charged me 60 So she must, she must like me. How about that? Yeah, plus tip. Nice. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Who doesn't like me? There are some. There are some that don't, and that's okay. I don't need everybody like me. I don't even know that I'm ever getting this preserve. I think I just make a Sphinx and boost the, boost the uh, appeal here. Thought paying 45 for your haircut was a lot. I mean, normally my haircut only takes like a half hour. And so that's why like 30 bucks was fine. Like, I don't know. And and it just takes her longer. It's fine. I don't care. But it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of money. <sighs> but still, I was I was very flattered with her uh 60. She she might have been like, let's see if this guy comes back at a hundred bucks a pop. <laughs> might have been it might have been a test of will. 
Yeah, that's yeah for sure pwned. That was me too. Like I, I kept upping my 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 the gal I went to in Chicago, like never upped her prices for me. So I just kept upping my tip. Might be able to clear this. Oh sweet lord, I might be able to clear it. Up to 850 tourism. You paid four dollars for a haircut in Turkey? That's amazing. No, I know. At that price, I was like, should I cut my own hair? No, you're right. <laughs> should I figure out how to do that? I know that's not that uncommon. That was pretty brutal. I really appreciate the 10 gifted subs, Mace. It's 30 gifted subs. If you somehow dodged it, well done. Because <laughs> that's a lot of gifted subs, friends. I really appreciate the support. With a clean shave and face massage? Oh, man. That's nice. It takes a lot of trust to get shaved with a straight razor. In my opinion. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So we're still just missing Canadia. Nothing to Canadia. I appreciate you, Mace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Sphinx boosts this. I guess this can be a thing. You wouldn't want to train you with a straight razor for sure. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. It's so scary. I'm going to delete some of this. Like we're getting so much tourism from these tile improvements. Yes. Get wrecked. Finally dealing with some of these barbs. This city needs so much love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I really don't care about more wonders. I realize that like Bolshoi, Broadway, like these are good for us. But just improving all these tiles is giving us so much tourism. How many more relics can I get? One, two, three. This bank could be anything. So four, five. I need I need more amphitheaters. So I can only I yeah I I actually can't get more than this right now. So even even this dude is is kind of overbought. So let's get another park then. It is Chimera, yeah. It sure is. About 20 minutes. Drafting Eldrain, which is a, a neat set. It's like fairy tale themed. Sure. I don't want people stealing my great works, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't really want to spend. A lot because I'm happy selling it, but oh no! <laughs> they voted. They voted to steal my great works. That's not very nice. 
<laughs> Look at all these cavalry, holy butts. Good thing these are levied, so I don't super care if they die. Other than they won't be clearing the barbarians, which is sad. Almost up to a thousand tourism. Alright, I do have slots open, I know that. Do I have anything that I can move? And get two more relics. That's how we get more slots. We finally finished that, so we can move you. And this. Yeah, I could buy the uh, broadcast tower and free up some room there. Where's the music? name was Shorn. Well, here we are. <laughs> Wolf, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back with that Prime sub. Thank you for the sub, baby. And thank you for nine months of that sweet, sweet Prime sub. I appreciate it. Is my trader in, in trouble with barbs? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. <laughs> There's not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately. But that is all right. I want to get them another builder, too. I want to clear all this out. We'll do that. We'll do that. This could actually be a park. I mentioned that earlier. That's fine. We have resources. We'll survive. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We're in reform the coinage, so our trade routes are fine. Thank you. I forgot about that. Which is why we've been, yeah. <laughs> Can't get pillaged in uh, reform. A good call. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Barbarian infantry? Is this happening? Why is this happening? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What the heck? But yeah, I. you know what? I've been in a really positive mood. That being said, I know what's going on in the world is awful. I just haven't I haven't really been paying attention to it. I've been so focused on my mental health and just trying to, like, you know, really, really feel better about the world. Um, and so I really haven't been paying attention to it. And, that, and it's also been, like, 70 degrees in Colorado, so it's been gorgeous. Just so gorgeous and nice. Oh, cause this. Okay. I know it's true, Mav. It's true. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm I'm happy to be the one providing a distraction for folks.
very, very happy to fill that role. are there. I'd rather have a head. Get another woods here. Yeah, I definitely won't. I definitely won't, Red Duke. It's my favorite musical instrument to listen to. I, I don't know that I've ever thought about specifically what musical instrument I like listening to the most. Like, I don't know. I, like so, so much music is made with many instruments, right? Um, I don't know. That's that is interesting. Mandolin, mandolin is particularly satisfying. Um, probably just because it's a little different. What about least satisfying? I don't know. Oboe is super satisfying, like oboe. Um, Never mind the maneuvers. Just oboe mabo. Guitar a jig. Cowbells. I mean, you always need more, more cowbells. Brass quintets. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of strings. Man, I don't know. Saxophone. Oboe mabo. <laughs> Cello and sax, yeah. Sax, I don't. Sax, sax, I like, but I, I, I don't know, man. There, there's something about sax that I'm like. I, I think it's just. I think it's Kenny G's fault. I, I, I'm gonna blame him. Are we out of relics? We are out of relics. So I'm glad we didn't buy any more. We only wasted two cultists. But we are out of relics. What's up, Saxy Beast? <laughs> All right, we actually have to put a cut in the video here. I am due to participate in a magic draft here in just a minute. So thank you so much for watching. YouTubers, I do appreciate it. We will be back to round out this game uh, in the next video. We're up over a 1,000 tourism, which feels pretty darn good. But thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.